So really quickly, just a really fast, I wanted to talk to the Timberwolves fans out there. If you're out there, um, guys, come on now. It's got to feel absolutely incredible, like I said, to be 13-4. and four. Um, To see Troy Brown Jr., um, Nas Reed, and, and others just pull you through without the services of Anthony Edwards, you know, your big dog, franchise franchise dog, your main piece, everything. Um, to see with no Jaden McDaniels, we getting these wins. Um, this has been a – fabulous season so far we are we are 17 games in um we still got um a long way to go we still got a long way to go um 65 games are left up on the docket but uh things look very promising t-wolves um i really like what i'm seeing from us um next man up mentality um damn troy brown jr came to troy brown jr came to play um so and then Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert has been after it defensively and offensively. He's staying where he needs to in the paint. Um Carl Anthony Towns is, is getting his when he gets his. And um he, he's not, you know, playing immature ball. His his head is on right. Um I'm I'm just loving the team, guys. Um we not we're not doing we're not gonna be in no end season tournament, but you think I give a damn? Um I want I want I love this winning record. I mean, it's been twenty years, damn it. 20 years since we we embraced being first place and, and actually loving it and, you know, just to get a taste of winning and, you know, teams fall off every year and somebody's got to step up and, oh, my gosh, my golly, it's us. And it's just, I mean, I'm ecstatic. I mean, you know, even though we, we're about to take on, we take on the Jazz and the, the Hornets without LaMelo next and we should be able to at least, you know, get the, one of these games. Um, as long as we don't lose both, hopefully we take both. But um, you know, we're building something special here, um, and I can't remember the last time it felt this damn good to actually be a Timberwolves fan and actually just be so elated and just happy with what you see on the court. And I don't know if it's going to last. I'm not the person to look at. Um, I'm not the T-Wolves fans to tell you if it's going to last, but I can tell you this. We play hard. We lost Anthony Edwards for that final quarter, and we didn't We didn't slump our shoulders. We went out and got the victory for Ant. We went out and held it down for Anthony Edwards for A-E. For A-E, baby, you know? So, <laughs> hey, nothing but props to my squad, man. Nothing but props. Timberwolves fans, it's a great time. It's a great time. And even if we drop a couple of games, I truly believe this team is resilient. I've seen it happen. You know, we lost the game. We got blown out. We bounced back. Um, so I'm super, super proud of us. I'm super, super proud of the team. And the last thing I want to say is I'm just proud of Cat for, for displaying his levels of maturity. And, you know, I'm also just proud of Anthony Edwards for, you know, getting a chance to, really embrace and see what it's like to to play for a winning team, um, a team that's got a chance to go really far because his skill set and just the person he is, he deserves this. So with that being said, this is RC talking a little Timberwolves on the channel. And uh, with that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.